Well, I'm definitely back in the hot spot now. And I have my next client, Georgia 6th Penny. And Les is still staying down there for some weird reason. He must be finding some stuff down there. So, uh, anyway, Georgia 6th Penny. Oh, well, I wasn't quick enough there. There was a coin sticking out on the edge there. I think it's a big old penny. Oh, is that a Victoria? No, no. I thought that was a Victoria then. I thought that was good condition. Now it's a Georgia 6th. Bit smooth. Penny. Yeah, it was right on the surface, that one. It blew my ears off. Uh, my next coin is an Elizabeth II penny. Now I really I'm hoping for a Victoria today. Something different. Now I know most people don't find coins like this in the abundance that we've been finding them. But it would still be nice to just pull out one coin that's different from all the others. But anyway, next coin, Elizabeth II penny. Yeah, well, this is working well actually because uh, I've been trying to pick out these lower numbers. That's a 13, that was 13 all the way round actually, and uh, probably about two or three inches deep. This one, but it's, a, it's an Elizabeth II shilling. That's a nice little find. That that was my uh, uh, target today actually, was to uh, try and get these sort of things of uh, farthings and sixpences and that. So far, little settings working. Bloody noisy, but it's working. I've had to turn the horseshoe off because uh, right near the pier, it's it's just too much. But you can pick out those little low signals and high signals. So yeah, quite pleased with it. I'm uh, gonna do a live dig on this one. It's a 22, just bouncing onto 23 every now and then. So in theory, it should be good. But it could be the curse of the live dig. You never know. Oh no, there it is. I can see it. It's popped out. It's very dark. Very dark. That could be a good sign. This is the annoying thing. I have to keep going back to this water to wash them off. It's, uh, Yeah, it's very dark this coin. Oh, this Britannia. And it's a, another George V penny. Alright, my next coin is a rather worn George V half penny. Right, another coin and another Elizabeth II penny. Well this weren't the greatest signal but it looks really nice. Uh, I think it was ended up on 21 by the look of it but I'm sure that started off about 15. That's a great button. As buttons go, it's the one with the anchor and the rope and that round it. Found a few of these before. That's absolutely Beautiful. It's even got the little pin on uh, loop on the back. Yeah, great little find. Yeah, pleased with this. I like the um, 11 inch coil as well, it's uh, really easy to pinpoint. I might even do a live dig. I feel that confident. <laughs> well, my next coin is uh, another Elizabeth II ship half penny. And as you can see by all these dig holes here in front of me, they're not all coins I'm getting. There is a lot of junk here as well. Anyway, Elizabeth II, ship half penny. Right, got to go for a live dig then. Um, this is 21 second, it's not very deep. So it's the same technique I use on the um, 15 inch coil. You get the signal, just back off of it till it disappears and then over it till you get the the tone and you know it's exactly under the logo that you can't see because it oh, so it's going to be right under the, that 11 there and I look a right mug now aren't I 
I don't think it was that deep, so just scoop the little bit off the top, have a look. Oh, look at that. Textbook. That's going to be something decent. It'll be uh, even better. No, I think that's a... What's that? I think that's a bit of shell. Oh, what we got? Oh, we've got a, a coin. Oh, it's really toasted. Oh, dropping everything now. Oh, it's an Edward the Seventh. So yeah, textbook stuff that, wasn't it? <laughs> Britannia probably won't get a date, but probably well, it's early 19, isn't it? So yeah, there you go. That's how I uh, I uh, pinpoint with this. It's uh, it's really good, going well. Uh, the next coin is another Elizabeth II ship half penny and Les is gradually working his way up towards me now so as soon as he gets here we'll have a chat with him but anyway Elizabeth II ship half penny uh, my next coin lays there as you can see you can see where it was in the clump just take it off of there this is a re they're in really bad condition at the moment these coins a quick wash off in the water in the water right there we go we have another Elizabeth II penny well no idea what this is um, I thought it was a fishing weight but it's actually got writing around those rings there I think yeah definitely got writing around it how strange no idea what that could be have a quick look, see if I can see if it's... You'll probably see it in the roundup anyway. There you go. An interesting find. <laughs> right, well it actually says, if you can hear me, train's going by now. Um, lift off this weight. I'm not sure if that's about there. Lift off this weight before removing diaphragm. That's what that says around there. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that could be for. Maybe it's off the pier train. Well, this time I had two coins in the scoop. One from that hole right down there in front of me and one from that hole just down there to my right. Um, I got the signal as I swung it both ways, so I dug them both out. We have another Elizabeth II penny and a George VI penny. Next coin in the scoop, another George V penny. And so Les is just there now. So when he gets over here, We'll have a little chat with him. Right, George V Penny. Right, we're well, a bit of a scratchy signal. That's a uh, George V half penny. Britannia, that's not bad condition, that one. Uh, yeah, not getting very far, but uh, still haven't caught up with Darren. He's not too far, but because I'm going really slow, he's uh, bombing all over the place. Worse than me when I'm wandering. There you go, half penny. Oh, well, this coin here was the shallowest one I've had all day. I literally had to brush the surface away with my uh, foot. And there it was, Elizabeth the second penny. Well, there's no mistake in that coin in the scoop. Yeah. Let's get out the scoop, oh, it's just got in there. All right, so in this little bit here, it should be. All right, it's another penny, I think. There's so many of them here. Alright. It's another Elizabeth the second one. Yep, another Elizabeth the second penny. Well right next to that uh half penny. Who is that? Oh, it's a Georgia Sixth. Ship half penny. That was really deep, that one. 1944. That's really good condition as well. Yeah, that's a little beauty. Yeah, pleased with that one. Another Georgia Fifth penny. Oh, my next coin is there. It's completely connected up with crap. 
which I'm trying to break off. Oh, it looks silver. This one could be a silver one. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh. Well, I have no idea what it is. It's about the size of a modern day 10 pence, so we'll go with that. Let's see if I can clean it off. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, yeah, the unmistakable sign of a 10 on there. At least it's something different. 10 pence. Uh, next coin is another Elizabeth II penny. How are you doing, Liz? Have a few bits and pieces, yeah. Uh, I think getting lots of crap though because I've changed my settings. <laughs> oh god, that makes a change. <laughs> I get a lot of hot rocks and. Uh, yeah, I've been finding quite a few of them myself. Um, yeah. I've got absolutely shed loads of pre decimals again, but it's all the same ones. You know, I'm not finding anything new. Yeah, that's why I'm trying different settings. <sighs> Going for the low signals, I've got a shilling and a sixpence oh i haven't got either of those i said to me i said on camera a little while ago when we started i want to get a silver yeah. i've just got a silver unfortunately it's a modern day 10p oh. but i did get that silver when we started down by the shell beds i mean that's probably an old 5p but yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's been interesting so how many coins have you got not many no? i'm um, really slow i reckon i'm on 30 plus right. oh that's cool Looks like a matchbox case. Oh yeah, yeah, it could be, yeah. Cigarette case thing. It's got Wembley written on there, but it's coming off that bit, so. You have to be very careful with that when you clean it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll break any records today. No. But I mean, look at the amount of shut dig holes in that little area. You see this end of our hotspot from the other day. Yeah. The other part of that, where it goes up that little hill bit, that's what the bit you were on the other day. Yeah. I thought I'd leave that to you. I'm just crisscrossing my own my own little hotspot. I don't really know what the time is. I split my bloody glove. Anyway, these coins ain't gonna find themselves. And I've got a record to break. Hang on, how long how long we got to high tide? Oh it's about five minutes to high tide a low tide. Yeah. I've had quite a few two peas. What? I've had quite a few two peas. I'm just poaching around in uh, Darren's hot spot and found a penny. <laughs> and it is a, an Elizabeth II penny. Not bad condition. Now, yeah, poached penny. <laughs> Next one, George VI. Ship half penny. Oh, I nearly missed this. Uh, it, the signal went really terrible. Special prize, Imperial Crown. There you go, another token from the amusements. Thought it was going to be better than that. <laughs> there you go, token. Well, these give off such a loud signal. 1920s. And that's the decimal half penny. Tiny little coin, big signal. Right, just kick this out and it's 22, 23 signal. Not seen it yet. Let's just see the shape of it. Baby. There you go. It says baby. And that's a little badge. For someone that doesn't know what a baby is, so they can put that on. So they know. Very strange why you'd have that, but yep. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> Next coin, another George V penny. Right, well, that hole there was the uh, badge, baby badge, and literally next to it, swing again, and I've got a little silver sixpence. It's hard to see actually, but I think it's that way around. 
That probably is silver, that one, I think. Yes, yeah, uh, I don't know, Georgia 5th, so it might not be. Yep, little sixpence. Oh, we're getting close to the end now. And I have another, it is of the second penny. It's after low tide now, so we're heading back towards the ray. It looks still quite low, but it can flood really quickly. Uh, changed my settings back to my normal settings, and I've got a little bullet straight away. Yeah, nice and shiny as well. Little bullet. 17, 18 signal. I can see it just poking out the mud. What we got? Looks like a half penny. Oh, it's really smooth. Not sure what that is at all. Nah, that's pretty toasted that one. But I'd say it's half penny. My next find is another one of those little bells, but this one's a lot smaller than the last one. I wonder why you get so many of these out here. So I remember Les has had one, and I think this is the third one I've had. Maybe even the fourth one I've had actually. Anyway, next find, another little bell. Right, got uh, another 303 bullet casing. Probably get some detail off of that. Can't quite see it. Definitely get something off of that. Yeah, it's quite nice. Well, my next coin is absolutely tiny. Tiny little silver, let's see if I can get it on. I think it might be part of the uh, Maundy set. But that could well be my last coin, because as you can see, Les is just in front of me now. Um, we're just about to go back across the gutway. Because we're getting tired, not that we have to, because it isn't even flooding yet, I don't think. But that's my next little coin, and possibly my last. Tiny, tiny little silver Georgia fifth. Right, well that um, didn't go quite as I thought it would. I mean, I did go through a little bit where I was finding quite a lot of coins, but as far as um, beating the record that we got the other day, I don't think I'll manage that. Um, I reckon I've got somewhere between 30 and 40 coins, and my target was 51. So, um, but I did get my little silver that I was after, and I got that right at the very death, so I'm happy about that. Um, Les got a couple of nice little finds as well. Um, right, even though the tide was higher than it was last time we went out last week, um, for some reason it just did not want to come in. Uh, the wind was obviously holding it back, because when we got back to the beach uh, just now, the tide was still right out. When, when the, bank, the bank was still exposed, we could have still been out there, but my shoulder told me it was time to go home, so here I am. But anyway, the next time we're going out, I think, is Monday. Well, I think we're just going to do a dry sand session somewhere or other. So until then, bye-bye for now.